Right, IP is a protocol that works in layer three of OSI. Now this protocol job is to find out <clears throat> or identify a device for which it uses numerical numbers <clears throat> means numerical values to identify the uh, to identify any components in network and that numerical value is in binary 32 bit size we call it as ip address because the ip protocol only uses this 32 bit value to identify any device, any node in the network. We're going to go deep into this IP addressing today and then submit must and then gateway and then DNS. Even though it is 32 bit binary number, we don't write it in binary or read it in binary. We read like this and write like this. IPv4 address is represented in decimal not a single number but as four number. So the 32 bit is divided into four groups called octet. Each octet provides a number. Each octet is separated by a dot. Like this, a dot. So IPv4 is 32 bit value represented as four octet decimal number separated by a dot. We also learned that the 32 bit address is very small for the entire world. So the IPv4 address is divided into two types, private and public. And this private IP address can be repeated with no conflicts. As a result, we save a lot of public address. This is how we manage to give the 32 bit address for the entire world. Private addresses are not exposed to the public. As a result, public network do not know where these private networks are located. In another word, the public network cannot route the, the packet which comes with a private identity, private address. In another word, the private packets are not routable on the internet. The public IP addresses are used in public, like internet, not only on internet, in planes, in trains, in automobiles to track. You can track your car from remote by providing a public IP. You can monitor your house from your office if your camera in the, in, in the house 
is given a public IP. If you want to see your house, your CCTV camera, which is in your house, from a public network, then your camera needs a public IP address. A lot of people, you know, in India itself, controls everything from their cell phone, controls everything in their home. A relative has come, let's say, but no one is in home, you are in office. And the relative comes, you will get a beep sound in your cell phone that someone is sitting, someone is standing in the door. And then slowly it will also capture a pack, uh, picture and send you. When you see, you can see your relative. If you trust them, so you, you just call them immediately. Say, okay, I'm in office. Don't worry, I'm opening the door for you. So from here itself, from cell, from your office, using your cell phone, you, you open your door. The door opens and your relative goes inside and they lock it from inside. How is this possible? Because your home is a smart home. Your home, door, gate, camera, everything is connected to public network. Everything has got a public IP. So, IP address is not only used by computers. Any device, any node that needs to be operated via network needs IP address. If it is controlled from public, then those devices also should have public IP address. Communication within an organization doesn't need a public IP. Now let's go deep into this IPv4 now. I'll write like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A 32 bit is separated by three dots. So you got equal eight bits in an octet. Four, eight bits. Eight bits. That's how you can even equally divide the 32 bit into three group, four groups. Eight. We call it as octet. So if you understand just one eight bit, if you understand this eight bit, it is also same here, here and here, because oh, everywhere eight bit. Let us try to understand one eight bit. Because it is in binary, you need to do some max to understand this. Binary means what? A number system with only two values. That's why by by we are two binary. This number system has got only two numbers, which is zero and one. Zero means zero in decimal also. One in binary is equal to one in decimal. So I'll write decimal here. This is binary. Decimal zero is zero in binary. Decimal one is one in binary. In order to write two in decimal, we simply put two. But in binary, how they do, you know? 
they put this one and they put zero here. This is what two. Is this a fresh number? No. Only these two are fresh numbers. This is not fresh number, you see. This two number is taken and put together. That became a third number. This is not fresh number. And then if you want to write three, what you do is one and then one. This is three. Again, this is also not a fresh number. It's a repetition of this one. If one is here, it is two. If one is here, it is one. So two plus one is three. But in decimal, these numbers are fresh numbers, you see. Up to nine, they are fresh numbers. In decimal up to nine, they are fresh numbers. After nine, you put 10, which is made out of this two. So it's not fresh. That is why decimal means 10, deca. 10 numbers you have. Zero to nine. How many numbers you have? 10 numbers. Decimal means 10, binary means two. This is the meaning of it. Decimal uses this zero to nine number to form big, big numbers. If someone says, is this a fresh number? No. It is made out of this number one, this number nine, again nine, and this is zero. So 1990 is not a fresh number. It is made out of a number between zero to nine. Likewise, this three is made out of this one, two is made out of this two. So in binary, only based on this two number zero and one, the rest of the number can be possible. That's why if you see in school days in decimal, you might have done something like this in decimal. A teacher might have given and uh, two thousand two. And we used to do like this to multiply it by 10 power zero. Why you put 10? Because it is by a decimal, zero to nine. This is a decimal number, not a binary number. And then we say it is zero into 10 power one. Again, another zero into 10 power one, sorry, two. Zero, first place, second place, third place, one stands hundred. And then we say it what? Two into 10 to the power of three. Likewise, we keep writing. Anyway, we have only four numbers, we no need to write again. Anything power zero is one. One multiplied by two is two. 10 to the power of one is 10, multiplied by zero is zero. 10 to the power of 2 is 100. 100 multiplied by 0 is 0. 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. 1,000 multiplied by 2 is 2,000. So now 
we need to add this. You get the same number because it's a decimal number you multiply by 10 and you put the face value this is the first place second place tens hundred thousand for decimal you put 10 for binary you are going to put what for decimal for decimal you put 10 what will you put for binary number? If you want to do like this conversion, what will you do for binary number? Decimal is made out of 10 numbers, so you put 10. If I want to see binary like, this is one very nice too. You see this is one. All eight bits are one, okay? bits of what all the eight bits are one now what will be the decimal value of this bit two to the power of zero this is binary anything power zero I said one 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. Next. 2 to the power of 1. 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power of 6. 2 to the power of 7. Now here, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. 2, mul two to the power of 2 is what? 2 into 2. Which is equal to 4. So 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 what? 8. 2 to the power of 4 means what? Into 2. Into 2 will give you 16. So likewise, you know, again into 2. 32. Into 2. 64 into 2, 128. This is how the face value is find, uh, derived. This is how the face value is derived. The face value of the first bit is 1. The face value of last bit is 128. The face value of the lower order bit, lower order bit is 1. Face value of the higher order bit is 128. And 2 to the power of 27 is 128. Now, if I want to know that the, the total value of the seven bit when it is on see the seventh bit is 128 we are starting from zero totally eight bit but because you are starting from zero it is seventh bit here because we start from zero now the value of two to the power of seven is 128 only this value for for this one what is the value what is the weightage 128 for this one, what is the value? 8. What is the value? Totally. It will be always 255. Always. Always. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. If you add, you will get 255. So what I'm coming to say is, if your all 32 bit is 1, if our all 32 bit is 1, 
we call that the address as broadcast address don't forget broadcast if all the bits are on it will be 255.255.255 we call this as what address broadcast address This address is not actually used as an IP address. This address is used whenever you want to send something to everyone. That's why it is broad, broadcast. Broadcast. You don't know who is going to receive, but they are going to be one or more. broadcast fine now let's go a little bit more deeper to understand this ip address i would like to have this one yeah okay now Let's say we got one, two, three, four, five, six. In this eight bit, we got one here and one here, and all the rest of the bits are zero. What will be the value, you know? This is 128, this is 64, which is 191. That's all. Because all the other are zero, you should not add 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, no. Just 32 multiplied by zero is what? Zero. 16 multiplied by zero is zero. So only you take those ones and add their face value. Is it 191? No, I've written wrong. 64 plus 128 is 192. Now, next, let us do one more. What if I have the three bits on, all the rest of the bits are off? Someone calculate and tell me, no? What will be the decimal value of this? Wow, good, nice, 224. What if I have one, 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 zero, 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 zero? Exactly. Next, one, one, zero, 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 one, one, one. What will be the value of this? Very correct. How? This is 7 actually. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. And then this is 192. 192 plus 7 is 191. 9, 199. Yeah. So let us take 1, 0, 0, 0. One, 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 yes. Brother Rajesh. Oh, sorry. Now, do you see the question? Mm 
<clears throat> what is the value of this place? 128, no? Value of this one is? 8. This one? We need to add all of this, that's all. Which will be? One forty three. Correct. So we know how to um, convert a binary into decimal now. We no need to do more than eight bit because the maximum bits in an octet is eight. So if you understand one. 8 bit, it's the same for other. I said now let us go and do one more like this. I have an IP address of 192.168.200.10. How will this look in binary? Let's see. This one is first 8 bit, first 8 bit is 11000000. Yeah. Mm, that's all. Dot. 168. 168 is. This is one, which is. 124. And then. Zero. Am I right? Wait. 128. We want. 6, 168, no, 168, so um, we got, an, we need another 40. So this one is 32, and this one is 8, which is 40. So we need to say 101, 1010, and 1, all rest of 0. Yeah. So eight plus thirty two, eight plus thirty two plus one six, uh, one twenty eight, one twenty eight plus six, thirty two plus eight. Which is 168. Am I right? I think so. Yeah? Okay, next. How do you write this 200? Uh, 1, 1, that's 192. We need another 8. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. That's it. This is 200. 192 plus 8. And then 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8 plus 2 is 10. That's it. So this is how an IP address in binary. But we don't, we don't type anywhere in, I, in binary format. We always use the decimal. Because we, in day-to-day -day life, we use decimal values for anything like money or anything you speak in decimal. What's the size of your land? We say like uh, 500 square feet. 500 is a decimal value. So for our convenience, this binary 32-bit is represented in decimal format like you see here 200 sorry 192.168.200.10 is an example it is actually coming under a class 
called class C. So we are going to discuss about the classes. Just learned, we learned that IP address is divided into four octet. We, in that four octet, how many bits are for network? You see, I mean, one network, you are in different network. So, in an IP address, there are two portions. One is to identify our network. And then, in that network, which PC? Which computer? In, in, your, in your home, you may have like four or five devices that is in the internet. So in your network, you have first device, your cell phone. Second device, your another cell phone. Third device, your another cell phone. Fourth device, your laptop. Fifth device, your desktop. So, let's say you belong to 10 network. So, this computer in your home and then this laptop in your home and then your cell phone, your another cell phone, your another cell phone. They all need IP address and you are in 10 network. This is in 10 network, all this device, but in 10 network, this is first computer. This is second computer. So this is the host ID. 1, 2, 10.0.0.3. In 10 network, this is the fifth device. So in an address, you have a network portion. This is 10 network. And you've got a host portion. You have another network, 11 network, let's say. 11, in 11th network, this is the, this is the second IP. This is the, this is the first computer, this is the second computer the 11th network. So you have network to identify the network of the device and you also have a unique identification for the device inside the network. Sorry. We call this host address. Network address, host address. Now this number 10 and all, no, 10, is coming under a class called A, class A. Class A range of address is 1 to 26. If you see the first number between 1 to 126, then it is class A. In class A, the first octet is network. All the rest are host. So now what will be this one? This is 10 network. Host is 003. Host is not simply 3 because you know the host is 3 octet here. The host is 3 octet in class A. So it is 10th network, not not 5. This is 11th network, the host is not not 2. 002 is the ID, not just 2. So we got a class B now, class B. The first two octaves are network. The second, the third and fourth octaves are 
Post. The range is between 128 to 191. For example, if I have an IP address 172.16.10.1, 172.16 is the network because you know 172 is in between 128 and 191. Don't see the second number to say which class it belonged to. Only see the first number. When I see first number, it is 172. It is between 128 and 191. And I understand it is class B. If it is class B, by default, 172, uh, 16 means the first two number is network. The last two is host. So if a computer is given with this address, what does it mean? The computer belongs to 172.16 network in which the host ID to identify that particular device is 10.1. 10.1 and if you see the range here after 126 128 what happened to 127 this 127 range of address is given for a purpose called loop back we'll talk about this in the next class so Class A is 1 to 126, 127 is not in use. One uh, means can, um, uh, it is in use, it is used as loopback address, but it cannot be used as an IP address to identify a device. Loopback addresses are not to identify a device in the network. It is for different purpose, which we'll discuss later. Now, class C. First three octets are network. The last one is host. And the range of class C is 192 to 223. Example 200 dot 11.14.1 This 200 is in between 192 to 223. So this is class C, which means this is the network portion. 200.11.14 uh, is the network in which this is the first computer, first IP. In order to say network bits, there is also another way called subnet mask. That's our next topic you see. Subnet mask. Subnet mask defines the network bits. Here, how many bits you have for network? 24 bit, eight plus eight plus eight. So you, you first eight bit is 255, no? You know, and you add all the 8 bits, 55, dot, 255, dot, 255, dot, 0. So, what does this mean? This means that the first octet is network, which is 55. The second octet is also network. The third octet is also network. Only the fourth octet is host. So, instead of writing like N, 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 H, it is written like 255, 255, 255. That, is, that mean, the, the, this means that those bits, eight bits of three octets or network. So what is subnet mask? I hope you understand now what is subnet mask. Subnet mask explains you how many bits are given for network. In this 200.11.14.1, the bits given for Network is first three octet, which is 200.11.14. So what will be the subnet mask of class B? It will be 255, 255, 00. 
because the first two octaves are network. Someone tell me what will be the subnet mask of class A? We'll say. So these are all called as default subnet mask. Don't forget default subnet mask. Class A default subnet mask is two five five zero zero zero. Class B subnet mask is two times two five five. And then class C is three times two five five. Yep. This is how the subnet mask by default goes. I think we should.